Hi everyone, good afternoon, welcome back to the channel. This is Empress of Energy and I'm ready to jump into a sign for a sign reading for Scorpio. So please mind the stain on my top. I am a mother of two. <laughs> Are they come out of nowhere? Um, anywho, but yes, ready to do a reading for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Place the sign in your birth chart anywhere you like. Cross watchers welcome as always. So let's go. I've already pre shuffled on your energy, Scorpio, meditated. Had a word with spirit. So let's see what we've got. Let's see what we've got for you, Scorpio. Please, if you're new to the channel, let's exchange energies. Subscribe if you are coming back. Hi, thank you so much. Thank you for watching. I appreciate all of the support. Okay, there's, there's a burden that you need to drop. There's some burdens that you need to drop, Scorpio, or you have done. Something was, something's been weighing very heavy on you. Yeah, judgment and the strength. Okay, some powerful energy. So a big decision has been made, Scorpio, I feel. I feel like you've had to make a very big decision. A life-changing decision is what I'm getting. You've had to have a lot of strength and courage to have to do this. Or you are going to have to. But the celebration on the other side of it, I see you celebrating something. Tell me more spirit, please. Okay, this could be something to do with work. We've got the three of pentacles. Oh. Oh, interesting. <clears throat> We've got the devil and the two of cups. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. So, I feel like someone could be obsessed with your work, how you work, the way that you work, Scorpio. Someone I feel like could be trying to mirror you. You've made a decision, probably a big life-changing decision. This could be work-related, family-related, soulmate-related, because we have got the Two of Cups here. Um, but, you know, Two of Cups can be anything. The soulmate energy can be anything from a past life connection, something to do with a soul connection, you know, family, friends, child, partner. Someone's either obsessed with you in a soulmate connection, respect, or someone's obsessed with you as far as work goes. But let's clarify, let's find out. Hmm. I feel like you could be a little bit exhausted right now, Scorpio. You could be feeling a bit tired. Could be needing to do some rest. Have some rest. Clarify this energy, please. I'm feeling like there's either some kind of codependency going on, some kind of addictions going on, some kind of toxic behaviours somewhere, but we'll find out where. Let's clarify these cards, please, Spirit for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you. Mm. Okay, tell me about this judgment card. Oh, this judgment card. We've got the Seven of Wands. So, it could have been a fallout with somebody here, uh, Scorpio, that someone wants to raise someone wants to raise the connection from the dead. It could be a literal fallout, like no longer speaking to one another. Sorry if you can hear my bulldog picking in the background. She's got a toy underneath the table. <laughs> um someone's wanting to come in and defend themselves over something. Someone could be protecting something. Sorry. Could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. Tell me more, please, for this judgment. Thank you. This could definitely be something to do with work. Someone, you've made a big, you could have made a big move with work, with your career, with your finance. You could have made a big move, big move that you're possibly keeping very much to yourself. You've been you're keeping that very protected. Oh, the fool. You're starting something. You're taking a risk with something to do with work. It's a big call to make. You are going to have to, or this is to do with family or something like that, but they are working together with somebody that you've possibly already fell out with. 
this is either starting something completely brand new, like expanding your ideas um, with work, or this is someone raising, this is you wanting to raise something from the dead as far as a connection goals with somebody, working together with somebody, starting again fresh with the fool. This could be a very big risk for you, Scorpio. Strong Aries energy. You're stressed over this. You're stressed over whatever it is that you have to do or whatever it is that you want to do. But you're being asked to have strength and courage, Scorpio, because you can do this. But I feel like you're going to have success. And I feel like someone's obsessing over it. And I feel like it's to do with work. The Queen of Cups. There you are. So you're, you're the one that's going to require strength and courage to do, to start this, to take this risk. To move forward with something, to create something new. Something fresh, exciting. The Page of Cups. This could have something to do with your children. It could be including your children in on something. Oops. Thank you. Wow, the Four of Cups. Hmm. So I feel like we've got the Queen of Cups. There's, there's a lot of emotion involved here. There's a lot of love involved. There's a lot of water energy. You could be dealing with another water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. But this is you, Scorpio, finding your courage through the love that you have. The passion that you have for you for whatever this is that you're working on or working with or whoever this is like i say there could be children involved there could be something there could be something that, that you're very emotional about that you're using to create something i don't know what that means but there's something about yourself there's something about your own emotions that you're using to work with and to work on. Which is going to bring celebration. There's also a very strong very strong energy of reconciliation here for people. Um, for, for those Scorpios that have, you know, ended something possibly in the past that could have been... It could have knocked you down a little bit emotionally. You know, it could have drained you emotionally. I'm feeling like there's going to be some kind of created new endeavour as far as that person or that situation goes. And again, that's going to result in reconciliation. But there's somebody here that is obsessed with you. Yeah, like obsessed with you. I don't... They could be finding you very attractive or they could be finding you very cold. They could be codependent on you. Two of Cups again, yeah, this is, could be dealing with Sagittarius, this is reconciliation or coming together with soulmates, coming together with family, coming together with friends, celebrating, cheersing, toasting to a moment, again of something that you're very emotional about, this is something that you've had patience with, could be dealing with the Sagittarius with a temperance card, and then the Eight of Cups, so, there's something here that you've decided to walk away from there's something that there's something of emotion or something emotional to you that's in your past there could be secrets or mystery involved in that you have taken possibly a little bit of time to do some inner work to be able to walk away from this as gracefully as you have as beautifully as you have as as still emotionally filled as you are is what i want to say you've not lost You've not let this change you. Whatever this is that's gone on here, you've not let it change you. You've stood truth in who you are. And this is what you're celebrating. And like I say, this could be something to do with work. There's something, let's say, tell me about this Three of Pentacles, please, in Scorpio's energy. This is working together, collaborating. Or something at work. All oh, the six of pentacles. Right, okay. Okay, we've got the six of pentacles, the world, and the six of swords. So I feel like someone's trying to work with you that you shouldn't trust. Someone's trying to work or collaborate with you. And it's they're coming across as a devil and it's six of pentacles, it's imbalance. Someone's trying to be greedy or selfish or there's jealousy around you. 
um, could very much be to do with your work. I know I've said that quite a lot, but that's most definitely what I'm getting. You're divinely protected, however, you know, with the world card. You are being protected by your angels, by your guides. You are only going to move forward into peace with the Six of Swords. You are only going to move forward into clarity. You're not interested in whatever this is behind you anymore. <clears throat> there could have been conflict along with this. But you're being divinely protected and it's from whoever this is. Someone that's either obsessed with you or codependent on you. Or someone that's trying to come in between something. Could be something that's someone that's trying to come in between something that you're doing with work. They try to create an imbalance. Possibly even in within the soul. Someone could be trying to come in between your relationship. But whatever they're doing, wow, do not trust them. I can't stress that enough. The Five of Swords and the Seven of Swords. Dishonourable liar. Don't trust this person. Three of Cups, yeah. Someone could be... I'm not taking that, the Eight of Swords. Someone could really be trying to come in between you and whatever it is that this is resonating with, whatever it is that you're caring a hell of a lot about. Someone's going to be watching you celebrate. And I feel like, they, I don't feel like they're happy about it at all. Oh shit, they, what did I just say? They're not happy about your happiness. They're not happy. This is you, you could be dealing with a Leo. But look out, this devil is strongly, like his eyes are burning. His eyes are burning, I feel like his eyes are burning. Your celebrations, your happiness. Ooh, I do not like who this is. Who is this? Queen of Swords, could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone that you possibly cut off. And now they've gone a little bit bitter, I feel. Someone's very bitter. Someone's not happy the way that you've cut them off and just turned the back on them, turn your back on them for whatever re for whatever this is. You've just concentrated now on your soulmate, your family, your connection, you know, what's what you care about. That's what you've chosen to do here and someone is not happy about it. Someone's obsessed with you. But I don't feel like it's in a good way. Some could say that obsession is never in a good way, but you know, to a degree, of course it is. But this isn't in a nice way. I feel like someone's trying to mimic your memory or be your like four of swords. Yeah, you're healing. You're healing, you're resting. You've been working very hard, Scorpio. You've been working very hard. And I feel like, to a degree, someone could be making your work harder than what it should be as well, purposely. Someone could be doing that on purpose. One more, please. But I don't feel like it's someone that you're in a soulmate energy with. Like, I feel like you're choosing to focus on this and someone here is not happy. Yeah, you're, you're exhausted. Something's gone on where you've had to really battle and fight and... It's drained you physically and emotionally. Yeah, maybe you've said some truthful you've you've said some truthful things to some, to this person. There's been a lot going on with whoever this is, and you've said some honest things that they do not like. But I feel like they've held, they've held it. They're keeping hold of it. Yeah, you've chosen to move forward toward towards your own stability, and. Again, I'm getting a very strong work vibe. Someone's jealous of you of the way that you work. Or just the way that you are. Jealous. Interesting reading. Interesting reading. Okay, well that's what I've got for you, Scorpio. If these messages were for you, please do subscribe to the channel. Connect energies. Let me know. Leave some feedback. Like the video. Leave me a comment. I'd love to hear it. Um, but thank you so much. And I'll see you all on the next one. Bye.